to my channel. Now today's video is a little bit experimental. I basically gave it a go at creating a doll makeup look and this is how it turned out. So if you want to see how I achieved this, keep on watching. Okay, so this is kind of experimental. I've never done this before and to be honest with you, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm basically going to try and do this doll inspired makeup look. So I do have kind of like a photo for inspiration and yeah, I'm going to try and do some little fake freckles and stuff and yeah, we're just, <laughs> I don't know how this is going to turn out, but it'll be fun to give it a go and I'm sure it will still look nice even if I don't get the exact results that I want. So anyway, I have just popped on some primer and then I'm going to put on some foundation. So here I have my Revolution Conceal and Define foundation. I use the shade F5. I'm actually going to try and apply this fairly lightly, I think. <laughs> But sometimes when I say that, I still end up putting lots on. So, you know, we'll see. We will see how we go here. But I don't think I want too much heavy coverage going on. I basically just want to even out my skin tone, really, opposed to doing a full coverage foundation. Because I do have some very annoying blemishes at the moment. Okay, we're looking fairly covered here now. So, where is my concealer? Little bit of concealer on. Just to sort of sort out those really red slash dark areas. But again, I don't want to go too heavy on the concealer. Just a little bit of coverage is what I'm going for here. And I actually did quite well with not applying too much foundation. <laughs> Normally I just keep building even if I don't intend to. If I keep looking down really low, it's because I've got my mirror a lot lower than usual. I think I need to have a little rethink on how I do that, but that's why I'm like looking down here. <laughs> Cause that's where my mirror is. So that is the light base complete. Gonna head on in with a little bit of powder. I've got my Revolution Ultra Contour Palette here, which is falling apart and it has very, very heavy use this palette, but just gonna tap a little bit of white powder on just to set those areas a little bit. And then I'm actually gonna take some of this banana and tap that across my cheek here. Okay, here's where we might start doing things a little bit differently. I have some blush. NYX blush, shade Summer, and then obviously I have this contour palette. I'm gonna try and bronze up a little bit, but I feel like it's gonna be, it's gonna come a little bit further down than normal and be way more rosy than what I normally go for. Let's start slow and comfortable. Gonna take the lightest shade of brown here and just sort of go in my usual place, but not as precisely, just a little bit more of a bronzing technique opposed to like a contour technique. Very light here. I'm also gonna pop some up here on my forehead because I need a little bit of color up here. Okay, here's the scary bit. I have a massive blush brush here. This is a Lancome one, number one, and it is brilliant. It's a very good blush brush. Now this is HD blush. So it is super, super pigmented and I've just popped a lot more than usual on this. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start up high, literally basically in the same, literally basically, pretty much in the same place that I've just applied the brown and just tap it down my cheek. And a tiny little bit up high, I think. I need to rose myself up a little bit more. It doesn't look terribly pink here in the camera, but when I look down here, it's pretty flipping rosy. So we're just gonna use this flatter brush here to blend that in a little bit. I'm literally just tapping over it, it just smooths it over a bit. Okay. Oh yeah, pink rosy cheeks. Check for sure. This just goes against anything that I've ever kind of done, but I've seen people do this. Gosh. See, look how crazy pigmented on my finger. It's not, it's not focusing. But I am gonna take that 
Oh my gosh, that's so pink. If I didn't take that on my nose here, where I do put the brown and on the tip where the highlight normally goes. This might turn into a clown look opposed to a doll look. I'm gonna go back in with that light brown and just draw my usual lines. And across here. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? Let's blend this. I mean, you can see a definite pink blobbly into my nose, which is not what I was going for. I'm hoping the highlight is gonna sort this out, look. <laughs> Cause I basically just give myself a Rudolph nose so far. Definitely looking a little bit more blended and stuff. Highlight, Revolution Pro. This is my absolute favorite one, this like champagne color here. But I think we're gonna go super gold today. This is also amazingly pigmented. It's really creamy as well, it's like a really creamy powder. Check that out, side two. And I'm gonna take it sort of lower into where all this color is. And then down my nose. We wanna be very shimmery. Keep it to bed. I'm regretting this. I'm regretting this. I just got to go with it. It's my nose that's bothering me. Maybe it'll look better once I've done brows and stuff. I think to restore my hope and faith in this look, I need to do my brows just to darken them up a little bit, get them a little bit more defined. And then I'm gonna use Revolution Pro Pomade in the shade Auburn. High hopes right now that this is gonna make a world of difference. I'm just gonna skip this bit forward. I'm just doing my brows. <laughs> I'll see you in a second. We're back. Brows are complete and I'm still a bit sort of umming and ahhing about the whole nose situation. But, you know, we're doing our best here. So, I think now it's time to go in and do some eyeshadow. So, I'm going old school here, and I've got the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. And to begin with, I am going, I'm going to get this brown down here. This is the brush that I am using. And we're gonna pop a load of this on, and just take it into the crease of my eye, all the way around. I'm actually gonna sort of cut the arch off a little bit short and bring it down sooner than I normally do, just to kind of like round my eye a little bit and do the same on the other side. So I want this to kind of give a deeper set eye look. So we're trying to just create shadow basically right now. Up in the top here, there is a slightly darker brown. So I'm just gonna pop some of that on and take it literally underneath the bone here to just set my eyes back a little bit more. Okay, shadow is being created. <laughs> just gonna very lightly use my blending brush. I don't wanna blend too much, because I want it to remain quite defined, but just to ensure we don't have any, you know, patchy patchy bits. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm actually gonna go back to this palette here, and I'm gonna use the slightly pink toned highlighter and my finger, so creamy. And this, we are gonna go all the way across the bottom of my eyelid. Same on the other side like so and we're also gonna make sure that i bring it into my inner eye here just to brighten the eye even more more so than i normally would do we want that sh sort of shimmery okay just gonna blend this up a little bit so it's not going halfway down my face there we go looking shimmery this angled brush come back to this palette and i am going to mix the slightly reddish peachy brown with this brown one here. And we're gonna take this on my lower lash line. Blend that as well. I brought it up to about here on a slight angle because that's where we're gonna draw with our eyeliner. That is what we're gonna do now. This is the L'Oreal Matte Signature Eyeliner. I actually have not done this in so long, so let's Let's hope this does not go badly. And we're gonna do some wings. Again, I'm actually gonna skip this because you don't need to watch me fight with my wings. You can just see them in a second. Okay, we've done some really thin and basic wings here and they stop about here. So now what I'm actually going to do is leave a gap and then kind of do like a little cat eye, fox eye in the corner here, but literally just with a line. So, Okay, you can see like the beginnings of that side. I used to do this all the time. Every single day I used to do like a cat eye. It's literally been years I think since I last did it, thinking about it, even with big makeup I don't tend to do it. 
Okay, so what I've done here is drawn the sort of cat eye on this section here and then very lightly joined it slightly on my lid, but then there's this gap which has no eyeliner. That is the eyeliner done and it's now time for lashes. For the lashes, I'm actually going to put some false lashes on the top, but need to just put a little bit of mascara on them, otherwise they're gonna look really light and pale and you'll be able to see them. I'll just do that quickly. And then on the bottom, I'm gonna put much more mascara than you'd normally want on <laughs> to get them sort of really defined and separated. Kind of like, well, I don't know about everybody else, but what I used to go for when I was about 15 years old, deliberately, I'm gonna do that on the bottom. And my lower lashes are actually really quite long and curly. Same cannot be said for my upper lashes. It is what it is, isn't it? So let's do the other side and then I'm gonna top up once it is dry. Can you see how much I've kind of dragged them out? Okay. Right, lower lashes are getting bare. That'll do me. Right, ow! <laughs> Just trapped my hair in the eyeshadow palette. Okay, lash time. Wispy lashes, it's been a while. Let's get some glue on ya. And then we'll get them applied. And then it's just lipstick, then we're done. And I must say, I'm glad I continued because when I first started putting all that pink blush on my face, I was thinking, oh my goodness, it's gonna look absolutely, oh, dropped my lash. It's gonna look absolutely ridiculous, but it's working out all right, to be honest. Oh, I need two freckles. I forgot about freckles. There's one, and let's do the other one. So little tip, squirt the glue onto your hand and then use the corner of the actual eyelash glue to apply it to the band. It's just a lot more precise, not as messy. Freckles. We're gonna go for this brush and I'm gonna get the pomade and I'm just gonna literally dot it in like so and then lightly pop it on. I've never done this before, let's just see what happens. So I do actually have natural freckles, but not very many. And they're kind of, gosh, that was a big one. They're kind of over my nose and on my upper cheeks here because they're quite like subtle and small. I've got quite porous skin. You just can't really see them. I mean, I know they're there and I notice them when I'm washing my face and stuff. And when it's the sun's out, they come out a little bit more, but yeah, you just, it's a shame. I'd love to have more freckles. My mum has a lot of freckles. Okay, this is actually working out pretty well. So now I've done that, I'm just gonna use my finger to, Tap over them. Okay, it's not really doing much. Because you just don't want them to look like I've actually drawn them there. <laughs> hmm. Interesting for a first try. Lashes are on. These are actually quite good dull lashes, I think. The only annoying thing with the glue that I use is that it stays white for ages and I always do it too quickly. I wait in these videos, I wait, 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 wait. And I'm like, oh, I'll be fine, you won't be able to notice. And I kind of film the last shots, and yeah, you can notice, you can see a nice old strip of white lash glue. Okay, lipstick revolution, Lux lip kit in the shade Regal. Right, lipstick, away we go. I've always liked the shape of my lips. They're not sort of all big and plump, like I know a lot of people really like these days, but I really like the shape of my Cupid's bow. And I think I'm just gonna exaggerate that today just to get more of this doll-like look. I'm not gonna go above my actual lip line, but just the way I draw it on. Let's get some setting spray on there. Now, this is Shake and Glow L'Oreal. I thought this look, we want a glowy setting spray, so. Oh my gosh, I just sprayed that like right into my hair. I will film a sort of like finished look in a bit, I think. But now I haven't got nice, nice white bits from the glue. But all in all, I'm actually really pleased. Yeah, I really like it. So, I mean, today was just a bit of a play with makeup and I just thought, hey, do you know what? I'll film it. Didn't really know what I was doing. Just kind of looked at a picture and guessed really with what I had. But here we go. Here we have a sort of natural doll-like look. When I say natural, I don't mean natural as in it doesn't look like I've got makeup on because it definitely looks like I've got makeup on. I mean that I 
don't have my face like literally painted white. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed making it. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.